about this bike course, you're an absolute king of this course, aren't you? Well, I don't know about that, but um, <laughs> yeah, um, well the year I did it, it was three larger laps, um, so it was a bit more um, out here really, but yeah, that, that hill is just, the first lap it's fine, the second lap it's a bit worse, and then the third lap you're just pretty sick of it. Um, I just remembered that because um, there's no real flat, it's all uphill or downhill and stuff like that, you just get sick of going uphill. So it's, you're just really happy to get to transition and get off that bike and just so you can do something different to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. And the legs after this bike course can be a little bit weird. How do you feel coming off the bike here in, uh, in Horwich? Um, it, it really depends on the courses because um, a lot of the courses now have like a downhill run into T2 so you can afford to rest your legs a little bit. Um, this course, I mean, there's that long descent down to the um, reservoir, um, and this bit along the bottom is, it's not uphill, but you can afford to rest your legs a little bit, so it's not like there's a massive hill into transition where you're going full on on the bike right into transition, and when you try and run off that, it's pretty hard, so hopefully it's not the hardest sort of um, bike to run transitions that are out there, so we'll see. But it just depends if people push too hard on, on that really long bike ride then you know there's going to be a few bodies out there I think. Yeah and then following on from that fantastic bike we've got a bit of a bit of a trot to go around for the 26.2 miles and um, technically what do you think of the marathon here? It's fast, really fast because that first bit is all downhill and looking at the wind conditions today it looks like it'll be a sort of headwind on the downhill section and a tailwind on the uphill section um, and obviously when you go down by the canal or beck, whatever you want to call it, um, it's really sheltered on that head, sort of headwind section which it will be today. So it should be really, really fast. So yeah. but, but we can just see, you know, the wind on the bike can make such a big difference that everybody could get off and be completely knackered and, you know, <laughs> that's just it really. Absolutely, it's all part of racing. And then of course, you've got that little bit of a scramble, haven't you, um, on the marathon just after the back or the the little canal. It's a bit of a leg killer for us uh, slow bees. So how about you over the front? Is it is it a killer or no? It's a, it's a leg killer for everyone, but by the time you get to that point, even though it's still quite early on, you you don't really uh, you just run in. You know, it's just you'll run you'll run across anything, you'll run up anything, you'll run down anything. So it's just a case of getting from point A to B as fast as possible. Absolutely, it's great to see you, my friend. I think Paul wants to have a quick word as well. I just want to ask quickly, Phil. Just listening to you describe the bike course. Um, you know, if I, if I look back to another one of the technical tough bike courses on the Ironman circuit, so the Ironman Nice, uh, with a huge amount of climbing, and a lot of the guys in the sharp end of that field, and even in the middle of the back of the field, elect to not use their time trial bikes, they use road bikes. Your thoughts on choice of equipment on this course, if you really don't get time to be on the flat, you're either going up or down? Um, I'd say definitely time trial bike on this course, because it's not like alpine climbing, it's um, just little ramps and you can, on the time trial bike, you can carry that speed so much better into all the little ramps. So, especially coming down the big hill through, through, the villa, through a village, there's just a nice little ramp and if you're on the time trial bike, you can just get down and, and just power up and use your momentum, whereas if you're on a road bike, you don't really get that. Yeah, the, uh, the section out of Abbey Village, at uh, the other side going over, Past Winter Hill, it's a yeah. bit of a speed section. Um, I mean, me with my little not very powerful legs, I was getting decent speed down there. You must have been absolutely flying along that bit. Um, I, well, is that bit around the second bit where everybody gets lost all the time? <laughs> yeah, it's like gently undulating down. Yeah. Um, Especially if you're on the time trial bike on those little bits, it just makes so much of a difference just so you can get in that position and not have to move to change gear or anything like that, you know, uh, you can just properly crack along and once you get into a rhythm, which you can't get into on this first bit, but once you get to the top of the big climb and you're aware basically for the rest of the lap and it's all downhill to the finish. Well, that's, that, that's how I've got to think of it anyway. <laughs> so one last question for you, we noticed this morning the conditions are absolutely superb, the temperature is absolutely perfect, but uh, for the middle and the back of the packers, you, you're going to struggle a bit on the bike course, there's also the wind now, do you think that's going to be a factor, you've been out there watching, do you think the wind is going to add to the challenge for the middle and the back of the packers? 
Um, I don't. I, I'm not. I don't think so, really. I mean, it's. A, I've been at the top of the main climb, and and it's a tailwind most of the way up the climb, um, and then obviously tailwind down that big fast descent. But most of the other two thirds of the course is really sheltered. So as long as you know where to ride in the road, and there's a lot of big hedges out there that provide a lot of shelter anyway. So if you just know where to ride, like on the inside next to the hedge, you're going to get a lot of shelter anyway. It shouldn't really be that too much of a problem. Thank you very much, Phil. Uh, your defending champion, but not defending his title, also the bike record holder, with just a little bit under five hours. I read 4.57 somewhere this morning, so obviously that must be. 4.57, nothing wrong with that 580 kilometers on this course. Thank you, Phil, for chatting to us and for your insights. Definitely use a time trial mic. And today, fortunately, you have the wind up your bum on the climbs. Brilliant.